Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. I'm glad to be back from a nine-day hiatus. Yes, I was at, sick for the last uh, week and a half. Um, I feel much better and got my voice back. No more coughing fits. It feels great to be back. And, of course, to help bring you guys some news and some uh, information for you guys there at home to be able to have access to, because we know the mainstream media doesn't like to cover things that are damaging to the mainstream media, things that are damaging to the Democrat Party and globalists and all those other uh, individuals. They will ignore it, turn to a blind eye, or even try to flip it around to try and make it Trump's fault. Anyway, uh, so before we dive into today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button to 1,500 likes. If you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, you can smash that join button, become a member of the channel. Smash that super thanks if you really enjoyed the content of this channel. I do appreciate it with all the likes and subscriptions. So thank you guys so much for making this a great place to get info from. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, of course, following up with a Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade information. Of course, if you don't know, Fannie Willis is the DA out of there in Fulton County, Georgia, who is currently uh, using her power of the state to go after Donald J. Trump and uh, many of his associates under the guise of election interference or pressures or her RICO or whatever she's doing. Of course, what the mainstream media doesn't want you to know, of course, is that she has colluded with the uh, Biden White House. She's colluded with the January 6th uh, committee and, of course, the DOJ and all along using taxpayer dollars to fund her romantic relationship with one of the lead prosecutors who she hired, uh, who they utilized those taxpayer dollars in order to go ahead and fund their romantic getaways and their romantic love check that they had all set up. And of course, more and more uh, information is coming out. Witnesses are coming out and stating this in court. And we got some new court filings today. We're going to take a look at this. This coming to us from Technofrog over on Twitter. Uh, let's take a look at this over here because it's quite important information. Of course, Technofrog. Uh, always on all the new info, it says new details allege against Fulton County DA Fannie Willis. Witnesses will testify that she cohabitated with Nathan Wade despite her denials at her home. The relationship began in 2019, three years before Willis and Wade says it began and before Wade's 2021 appointment. Notably, Wade's affidavit proves that the hearing in this matter is needed. For example, if Mr. Roman was permitted to cross-examine Wade, he could ask questions such as the following. Um, you swore that you met Miss Willis in October of 2019 at a municipal court training. Isn't it true that you began more than just a friendship at that conference? And then, of course, additionally, the witness will testify that you cohabitated with Miss Willis at her home in South Fulton until her father moved in with her, and then you became... Uh, then you began to cohabitate at an apartment of a friend of hers at East Point. We uh, continue on with this. We come down here to this next part here. The witness will testify that D.A. Willis and Wade cohabitated at an Airbnb that was paid for by taxpayer money. The safe house was also the romantic getaway. Additionally, witnesses will testify that you cohabitated with Miss Willis at an Airbnb in Harper or Harpville, that was paid for by taxpayer money to serve as a safe house for you and Miss Willis. And of course, um, this does not bode well for the Biden regime, right? Because the Biden regime is banking on this in order for them to take down Trump, in order for them to take down Biden's political opponent. And this is all falling apart because she's going to get to the point where she's going to have to dismiss herself. And this case will fall apart because of the obvious right? The obvious uh, malpractice that we've seen take place here, the conflicts of interest that we've seen played out here uh, in order to go after the Democrats' uh, number one opponent. And I love that all of this is coming out. I love that the people are being shown how corrupt this institution is right now with these people who are just sole, whose sole purpose is to stop Donald J. Trump. And here, what we have, again, she's about to face this in court here in the next uh, week or so, where she will have to appear before the judge, and she will have to answer for these misdoings of her and her lover, Nathan Wade. So I look forward to continuing to follow the story for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below, of course, any of your guys' comments. And of course, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.